Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thank you for joining. Today's video is going to be like a casual street style haul of some really easy, stylish, comfortable outfits to wear this summer. And quick disclaimer, if you hear some noise in the background, we're doing a little yard work right now. So that's what it is. Forgive me. So today's video is sponsored by Nike. So thank you to Nike for sending over these pieces. They created the perfect street style outfits and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Everything will of course be linked in the description box below. And if you become a Nike member, which is free to sign up for, you get free shipping and 60 day free returns. Nike also offers over a thousand markdowns where you can save up to 40% off. All right, so I also wanna say that street style, this is just my interpretation of how I like like to style street style I also want to give a shout out to the black community for their influence in street style like sneaker culture logo mania baggy clothes so many things that I love wearing in fashion and also I believe the Asian community has a huge influence in street style as well if I do another street style video about staples and things like that we can dive more into the history it has a lot to do with skate culture and surf culture hip-hop culture in the 90s I believe but for for today's video, it's just going to be my interpretation of some really stylish, comfy, laid-back outfits that you can wear this summer. And one more disclaimer, I, mm, I would have worn my hair in like a slick pony or bun with any of these outfits because I think it looks so good with street style, especially with like hoops and a bunch of jewelry. But when I do that, I put a lot of product in my hair and I don't want to wash my hair yet. So that's why I didn't do that. But for you guys, for styling purposes, just keep that little trick in your back pocket. All right, so for the first outfit I'm gonna share today, I have a little bit of monochromatic action happening here. It's just really simple and easy, I think, to take one color and kind of combine a bunch of different shades and textures and patterns of that color and create a look, whether you're doing street style or any other kind of style. So for today's look, I have these little shorts from Nike. These are active wear shorts and I got these in a size small. I actually picked these up thinking that I would work out with them and run in them because they seemed like really good shorts for that. And I obviously still can, but the great thing about street style is it is so comfy and laid back at least the way that I interpret it so these are just super comfy and then I just have on a little ribbed tank top a staple a basic for me and then I threw on this cropped vintage flannel uh, just because I really like my looks to have layers and I wanted to add a little bit more to this and bring in all of the blue. And then baseball caps are huge in street style as well, so that was perfect. I threw that on with this outfit, a little Yankees cap, and as I mentioned, sneaker culture is a huge part of street style and you don't need expensive sneakers, you don't need fancy sneakers to dress cool, but I have decided over the years that sneakers was something I love so much that they are worth investing for me. So. This is the pair of sneakers that I chose to wear with today's out, that I chose to wear. wear. <laughs> so these are the Jordan ones in obsidian blue and a little hack is you can get these in kid sizes, I believe. I don't remember what size it goes up into, but I believe I get a kid size 6.5 and I'm a women's 7.5. Double check the size reference, but love these and they just match obviously perfectly with a little blue moment. Okay, for the next outfit, I have two of these pairs of shorts in today's haul, and I got these from the men's section. So a thing about street style, at least for the way that I wear it, it is definitely more boyish. And if you guys have followed my channel, you know that I really love boyish style, and I've been liking wearing boys clothes or men's clothes since I was little. I just think they're super cool and super comfortable. So picked these up from the men's section and I got them in a size small and they also fit Clayton who is my boyfriend for anyone who doesn't know. So we love when we have something that we can share. These ones are pretty simple and plain. They are just black and white. They have really deep pockets and they kind of feel like a swim trunk. They're super, super comfortable. I'm literally obsessed with them. And for this pair of shorts, I just wanted to keep it kind of 
more neutral and simple so i actually stole a shirt from clayton's closet this is from i'm not sure where this is from i think we got this at urban outfitters actually so this is just a black mesh top and then i wore the same ribbed white tank top under this to kind of pull out the white details in the shorts and it's just like a perfect flowy light summery look but it's edgy and cool and street style and the shoes that i'm wearing with that outfit are just the classic air force ones and i've talked about air force ones so much on my channel because they're literally my favorite shoe ever without a doubt and i fell in love with them when i was in third grade from the nelly song but anyways this is a brand new pair of Air Force Ones because my current pair that I have, I don't mind that they're dirty and you can actually get them really clean, but I've literally worn this shoe to death. Not sure if you guys can see, but this is the back of the shoe and this is like the hard part of it because I've literally worn them so much. So I did decide to get a fresh pair because it's kind of starting to hurt my heel that it's like going raw right there. Needless to say, I'm obviously so obsessed with these. I wear them like no other shoe. I think they're incredibly comfortable, like insanely comfortable. They match everything under the sun. And I even gifted everyone in my family a pair of Air Force Ones for Christmas this year because I'm that obsessed with them. Well, everyone who is willing to wear them. Okay, and then the next outfit is going to be another pair of those shorts. So these are the same exact shorts in just a different colorway. Got them in a small as well. And these ones are a little bit more fun. So they're colorful. As you can see, they have a pop of neon, which I think is a great detail to incorporate, incorporate into street style because it's just really bold and bright and it just adds something really cool to the look. So love these as well. Same thing, super comfy, deep pockets. And I know it's kind of like there's a lot going on, but in street style, I feel like you can get away with whatever you want. It's just wearing what you want, expressing yourself through your fashion. And so I decided to go with another printed tee, even though the shorts are printed and they're colorful and everything. This is actually a little Penn State tee that I just cropped myself. And I think something cropped with these kind of shorts that are baggier and longer looks really cute together because it's very contrasting. And then I also picked up another pair of Air Force Ones these are the shadows and these are in like a creamy kind of neutral base they give off a little bit of like a buttery yellow vibe i think they're gonna be really good for fall and winter for strictly like neutral looks with tans and browns and beiges but for today's look i felt like the yellowish tint kind of pulled out the neon in those shorts and it kind of matched the off-white color of the t-shirt so decided to throw these on and same thing these are super super comfortable they match everything and I'm just an Air Force One girl for life. A side note on Air Force Ones is I size down half a size of them because I find that they run a little bit big. All right, for our next outfit, I just have a little ribbed bodycon dress, which is a staple. It's super easy to style in a multitude of ways, but I kept this really monochromatic and I just threw on my oversized hoodie and it's just kind of like a perfect, simple, really easy outfit. And to spice it up a bit, of course it went in with a pair of sneakers. So these are the blazers from Nike and I actually got these for Clayton, I think like a year ago and he has worn these to death pretty much. He has a different colorway in these, but it is one of the best shoes we ever got him. They match everything. They look so good on his body type. They're just a really good style for him. My friend Mark, who has amazing style, actually recommended them for Clayton. So that is when we first welcomed the blazers into our home. And I picked up this pair today that has a like burgundy accent on it, which I think is really cool. I like how it's more on the neutral side. It's not too bright, but it is a little bit different. And then again, I just went in with a baseball cap because that's a huge part of street style for me. And it matched the swoosh. But like I said earlier, you can kind of like mix and match things in street style too. It doesn't have to be super matchy matchy. And then I think shoulder bags are really good for street style looks. I've styled them throughout this haul. Just a little plain black one, or if you want to go in something with 
or if you want to go in with something that's a little more bold it has a print a pattern some texture on it i think that's a great addition to a street style look too all right this look is a pair of denim which is a little bit hot in the summer i know but i actually wear jeans year round so i did want to include these so just a baggy pair of denim is perfect and then i have this top from nike it's a jordan top and i got this in an extra small i believe because it is a crop top and i am on the shorter side i'm 5'4 so i wanted to make sure it was cropped enough and it was still a little bit long for where my pants hit me so i just cinch it up a little on the sides but i love the cut of this i like how it's a little high neck it's athletic looking when you pair it with sneakers and denim i think it creates a perfect street style look it's cool and it's a little more casual i mean it's a little more dressed up than wearing like sweats or something in street style but it definitely still fits the overall mood and for that outfit i paired it with these jordan ones these are i think they i forget what the actual name of these but i'm pretty sure they're referred to as the panda because they're black and white so love these this is one of my most worn shoes and definitely was invert worth the investment and because i felt like that outfit could handle it i threw in a printed handbag so this is a fun little pop of animal print it's zebra obviously i think tiger or leopard or anything like that is really fun to throw in with these looks and then this outfit is an Oakland A's jersey. And I actually picked this out with Clayton in mind because the A's are his favorite team. He's been obsessed with them ever since he was little. He grew up in the Bay Area. So I got this in a size extra large. And Clayton told me it is like a vintage inspired edition of their jersey, which is probably why I liked it so much. So it's super cute. I love the colors actually. It's really vibrant, but something about it, the vintage inspire makes it a little more toned down in my opinion. And because it's an extra large, it's obviously very big on me. It fits clean perfectly. But I decided to kind of leave it open and show a little bit of shape since it kind of swallows me if I button it up. So I wore it with a crop top and then a pair of fitted flares. So this is a super cute look to wear maybe to an actual baseball game or just any kind of street style look. It's a little more dressed up maybe than some of the other ones, but it's still really casual and really comfortable. And I paired this with my Air Force ones again just because they go with everything. They're so comfortable and I think the nice pop of white kind of brings out the text. All right, and then the last outfit I'm wearing is this oversized t-shirt. So a little graphic tee is a great staple in a street style look. So I got this one in a size extra large. I love the colors in it. They're kind of like neon pastels, giving me like 80s vibes. Um, it's an Air Jordan shirt and it's just super comfy. You can also like crop it up, tuck it into your bra if you want to kind of tailor it for a certain look, but still keep the length. You don't length, you don't actually have to chop it. You just tuck it in and can make it suit whatever style you want. Um, for today's look, I just paired it with my Boyd sweatshorts in white and it's just like so seamless and simple so comfy and because it's just kind of simple up top and everything i decided to pair it with a fun pair of sneakers so these sneakers that i have on i believe are called the lucky greens and they are jordan ones as well i believe nice fun bright pop of green which is actually my favorite color i think i forgot in the try on portion to wear this purse but i do have a little tiger print purse that i think is really cute with this outfit with the pops of color but mostly like blank late I think it's perfect so that is it for today's video and also in street style looks don't forget your jewelry I have on a bunch of rings some necklaces and some earrings because I think that those really tie in the looks as well hope you guys liked this these are honestly some of my favorite kind of outfits to wear the style is super diverse and versatile as well so I'm not married to any one style but this is definitely a category that I love dressing in and I will see you in my next video.